Hello, Monsters Abound, and welcome back to Stellaris Megacorp and the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC. Last time, the Cyclops wanted another go, so we're going to go right back at them, and we've got some brave troops. Well, I say brave. We've got some troops we've rounded up into transport ships that we're going to drop on the enemy, and they're just going to hit them wave after wave until we overrun their kill counter. I assume Cyclopses have kill counters. Otherwise, this plan is going to go very badly for the people I'm dropping on top of the planet. But still, it should be fine. So those transport fleets are on their way. We do have an enemy fleet, which is 6k, which is quite strong. Hmm, that could be problematic. But um, we're going we're gonna, to you know, go for it anyway. Going to go for it. What are these guys? They're just... Right, they're xenophobes and they're authoritarian. Okay, they're not... They're not warmongers. Ship status, cutting edge. Good stuff. That's what we like. Uh, we... No energy's back to normal. Good. 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 That's good. Don't know why. Oh, I know. It was probably because there was a beta update. So, oh god, what's this? Who's died? Our leader. Oh no, he dropped dead again. I say again, same guy. Uh, we could maybe vi Gib. Gib? Do you want Gib? He's quite old. Gib is probably going to drop dead fairly soon. Uh, slave optimization. I quite like this. He is our admiral, but he's only level one. Fuck it. Yeah, that guy. We're going to get that Ships guy. Upgraded. Uh, edit duration, monthly, yeah, monthly unity is going to drop. Uh, I do need unity as well. 11 months. That's not too bad. Right. So the fleet needs a new leader. So, what we got? What we got? What we got? Ship weapon. Well, mm, sensor range, sublight speed. Yes, potentially adaptable. Yeah, that's probably not going to be. Um, okay, we'll, we'll get. I mean, compact disengagement chance minus thirty three percent. It's not great, is it? Screw it. We'll get. We'll get. Gorvais. Gorvais, you're up. So that's what we're doing. Okay, we're on our way. We're on our way. Recruitment of armies. Excellent. So let's get all Technology of our armies. Discovered. Rad. Rad indeed. I love this guy. He's the best guy. Auto cannons? What do they do? Are they any good? Not good against armor. Good. Well, oh, we kind of got shield weapons already. I'm tempted by cruisers. I'm tempted by the plasma thruster. More thrust. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get more thrust. I, you know, I need more thrust. That's what we need. Yes. All right, everyone, you're heading over here. Is eight armies going to be enough? Um, I mean, it, it can't hurt to get some more, can it? Really, it can't hurt. Uh, I mean, you know, if we're gonna drop a shit ton of people on their heads, then it's really gonna be a shit ton of people. So. Just, just throw them. We'll just throw people at the problem. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Boom. Um, we built something. Excellent. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this star base over here, which could... It's only 2k. We are upgrading it. We do have additional defense platforms. Is that going to be okay? I'm hoping that once we attack Oazidia over here, they might go, uh-oh, we're in trouble, and rush over to uh, to deal with it. Could I grab... I'm going to claim that system. I'm going to claim that... I'm going to claim the shit out of that system. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, we're on our way. All the transports on their way. Good. Excellent. Construction complete. Right, you lot. You're coming over here as well. It's all, it's all go. It's all go in the Floating Turtle Jellyfish PLC. We've got shit to do, and we're going to get it done. Research complete. We did it. Nice. Science officer Slurfuge has returned from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere in the seas beneath the ice mantle of Kifitar 9, eh? Several large species native to the low regions of the global sea have been found to produce a unique inorganic molecule with immense healing properties. If the molecule is successfully harvested in large enough quantities, it could revolutionize the field of medical science and may even have industrial applications. Living metal, really? Oh. Boom. Boom we indeed. Holy tits, that's nice. That's good. It's very exciting. Excellent. Okay, my plan here is to maybe grab this system and then... Oh dear, what's going on over here? 
Oh, this isn't good. That station's going to get its ass kicked. Mind you, it's only half the fleet size. What happened to the rest of it? It's only 3k. Where's the other 3k? Because it was 6, wasn't it? Did I make that up? Can we... Right. Raiding target. You are always fucking busy! I could recruit another fleet. What I could do... If we go... Right, let's go to the market. Okay, so we've got a lot of volatile moats, which I don't really need. So I could flog a thousand of those for 9k. On the other hand, I mean, that's 16k. Mind you, I kind of need the alloys, don't I? What about this? I mean, I guess no one's buying it, so that's why the price is so, is quite low. I mean, it's not bad. 16 per dark matter. That's, what's that, 9, 8, 8. So the volatile moats, people are after them. We could sell 500 of them. That would give us a bit more cash. We could get them at the Star Raider Flotilla. That's what we're going to do. Congratulations, Bagugians. With the fleet you have just hired, you could storm the Kelbrad Continuity. Okay. Well, perhaps not, but make no mistake, it's powerful force. Uh, goodbye. Right, where is that? Is that popped up at our... Where are they? Oh, look, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, there we are. There we are. Oh, this even gives us a, a general, a fleet captain. There we go, nice. Okay. Instant fleet, 3.8k, nice. And all these transport fleets are... Oh my god, okay, come on, oh, you, come on, come on, you guys, come on, come on, hurry up. Get over here. We don't have all day. Literally, we don't have all day. Uh, where's my construction ships? Because I... Let's go and grab this place over here. Oh, no influence. That's a point. Can I claim more systems just to annoy the tits off them? Oh, come on. I want more systems. Want more systems. Right. Let's take our little fleet. Our little fleet is going to start hitting their systems, basically to just annoy them. That's what we're doing at this point. We're just harassing them. God, star bases take friggin' ages to upgrade, don't they? Bloody hell. We're gonna make a pretty hole in their defenses. Are we? Oh yes, yes we are, because this is gonna be pretty pretty one-sided. God, their shields go down so fast. What do our wait, what do our corvettes have? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's right. Good. This is this is good because we can get the courier network. That's going to increase our empire size by twenty. So that's gonna. So currently we are tech is eighteen percent. Tradition is thirty. So we do this. Nine and fifteen. It's basically half the amount um, that we were using. So that's very nice. Okay, we take an olum. Let's go and let's go and take this as well. Basically, we're just going to annoy the shit out of them while our fleet is on its way. And because we've got a guy with, um, he's got more sensor range, we can actually see them coming before. Hello. Research uh, complete. We talk the did it. Devil. Colony established. Let's hope for a speedy return on investment. Indeed. Okay. Construction complete. We should be able to take this system. We need to be a little bit careful here. What's the problem? Oh, scientist died. Oh, society scientist. Uh, let's get... A, oh, we got bird person. Kubruk. 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 Burke. We're we'll calling Burke. He's Burke. In fact, where is, where is he? I want to re... Can I rename you? I'm sure I can rename you. Leaders. Oh, there we go. Clicking on the wrong bloody thing. But oh. come on, come on, Burke. There we go. Burke. Right, he's Burke. Good. Where were we? Where are we? What's going on? We're over here. Okay, we should be able to take this station quickly. Yep, okay. Run, run. Get the crap out of there. Okay, that should force them... Oh, crap. 
Oh, bugger. Run for it. I think we're okay. I think we're faster. We're faster. Come, boys. Oh, thank God. You're gone. Right, can't rush back. Oh, God. Look at all these guys. All right, just merge, all right? There you go. That's better. That's more like it. Right, all you boys come back here. They're hey. coming for our starbase. Come on, chase me. Chase me. Come on. Chase me. Catch me. You know you want to. New skills. I have a talent. I knew he had it in him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you, you cowards. You're not going to come and fight me, are you, you bunch of... Jer they really don't want... They don't like going into fortified systems. They've got a real thing about going into fortified systems. They are not not happy about doing that. Uh, well, we're repairing ships. That should be all good. Right. And we're going to jump into this system. Just here, though. Construction complete. So we've got the Star Rider Flotilla and the Galog Voidfarers. And together, More combined... Declared. What's going on? Oh, the Viva Sandy Prime have finally decided to... They've, they've picked up the uh, the courage to go and murder those stupid bastards of, of lizards living on their stupid planet all by themselves. Okay, I'm feeling like we got this. It feels like it because they are running away. So let's go after this station. It shouldn't be particularly difficult. Oh, what a surprise. And yeah, they are running away. Yeah, that's what I thought they'd do. Okay, well, we're going to head in this direction and we're going to take all of our transports and they are going to follow us. We're going to capture their stupid planet. Technology discovered. Rad! Ooh, Sonic Theory, very nice. Commerce Megaplex, I kind of want those, but I don't have the pop to use them. Uh, Paradise Dome, meh, yeah, who cares. Habitability, that would help of our consumer goods. Let's go with that, it's 56 months, but... But I feel it's going to be pretty good. Okay, let's go and take one of their planets. Now, they do have some defenders here, which is fine. Because we've got Imagine a lot of people to drop the on their head. On this tech. Research Institute, yes, there we go. And let's get the research speed, because that's only going to be good. And then, Empire Capital, right, we want the Research Institute. We're going to pop that one there. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's pretty good. Mining world here is pretty full up. Um, minerals is okay, but not not great. And to be honest, our resources are actually just generally pretty good. So what I might do is resettle these guys onto Kifitar. Or, yeah, Kifitar, because... We could use their populations there. So let's go you and you and you. Then Kifatar should have... Oh, in fact, you're actually looking pretty good. Okay, let's get the minimal purification plant there. And then more mining districts because, yes. Massive glacier. Sure. Let's clear that out. And you can be up... Oh, you can be upgraded. Uh, we do a couple more generators, something like that. Okay, let's go. Are they coming for? Oh, I think they are coming for us. I mean, they're not going to be in time. Is our transport fleet on its way? Yes, good. Wait, do they have friends? Um, hmm. Hmm. What we got? Five, six, seven, eight-ish. 
six, seven-ish. Okay, but still. Need to be a little bit careful. Right, let's go and bomb their planet. This is what you get for declaring war on us, dickheads. You know what? Fuck okay, it, land armies. Oh, in fact, uh... Um, 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 wait, wait, before we do that... Before we do that, let's assign a leader. So, General Gab, he's a butcherer. We've got Yavak, he's charismatic. I want a butcherer. Collateral damage? Who cares about collateral damage? Fuck it. Hostile takeover initiated. Okay, this this should be pretty pretty brutal. I mean, some of ours will probably get, you know, horribly murdered, but Oh. Well, he died. He died as he lived. Rapidly. It's a problem in combat. It's very easy to get popped. Well, we're going to need more slave armies. I lose more slaves this way. But fortunately, they're slaves, so no one cares. Did you know that my internal power core has an effective blast yield of over 5 megatons of TNT in the event of a catastrophic overload? I did not. So, there we go. Right, so we've taken one of their systems... And so. So. Why? Why do we get... Oh, because we lost, we lost a lot of armies. Oh, they're slaves. Who gives a shit? Honest to God. Uh, destruction, attrition, occupation. Right, so... Ri Okay. All right, well, we took a planet. And we got some systems. So I'm going to say that's a win, despite what anyone else might think. And we're going to go and deal... I mean, we could take their... Can we take their capital? It's not actually that heavily defended. I'd need... Well, I could... Are you, well, do I need more slaves? That's probably all right, isn't it? Um, who wants the next go? He's eager. That That seems good, so we'll get you. Uh, I mean, our strength is still 244. Four, and the defense. I mean, Gerzan is. How many armies have they got? 546. I mean, we can bomb that into oblivion, can't we? That's fine. No worries there. Right, you guys. On we go. Onwards. Onwards to victory. Probably. What's the worst that can happen? Just follow them. On we go. Okay, we're heading, jumping into Gerzar. Or Gur. Stupid name for a planet. Gur. You know who calls their planet Gur? Idiots. That's who. Right, we're going to take this system. Nice and quick. Easy peasy. Right, let's let's both go in together. Okay, I'm a little bit trapped behind enemy lines. You know what? Let's head back. We need to defeat some of these fleets. Maybe see if we can get back to Rack. Oh crap! Well, I mean. Worst case, absolute worst case scenario, everyone dies horribly. But that's worst case. So let's look on the let's look on the, the positive side. And uh Boom. we built something. Exactly. We've got plasma thrusters, that's good. Do I want I got quite a lot of minerals actually. I'm tempted to get this. Although we are actually getting some living metal already, so I mean Reply complicate. Uh, yeah, I, I could potentially do with those. Maybe I want. I, you know what? Let's get droid workers because they can do more work than just just mining. Then. Okay, this could be bad. Potentially, this could be bad, but we're going to go for it anyway. 
Oh, are you jumping in? <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, well, this this should be interesting. We didn't die horribly. In fact, we did quite well. We've got the... Uh... So, we lost a frigate. They lost six corvettes and a destroyer. So... And that's that. Wait, where's the... This one? This one. Right, so... So, we're pushing them back. Good. 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 But still, I, th I think we need to uh, head back to our own space. So let's do that. I mean, they, they might take retake ours. Our he's that one. But uh, I think that's probably fine. I could always buy another fleet from them, couldn't I? Can I buy another fleet from them? Hello. We would like... Uh, what about a good raiding target? No, you're always fucking busy. So, I mean, we could get the first... These guys. Five years. I mean, yeah, sure. And we can use those to murder everyone. I feel like buying mercenaries is a legit tactic, and I love it. Especially because, like... I feel like economy is a lot more important now. So I could, I could like, I could sell food and rely on mercenaries, which is brilliant. It's a shame you can't like hire your own ships out as mercenaries. That'd be quite good. So basically, I just want to push them back a bit because for some reason we were losing the attrition. But I feel like that battle has swung it in our in our favour. Okay, so let's beat them there. Okay, they sick. I'm surprised we put, I, I thought we were going to lose that fight. It looks like the foxes are doing the same. So, this is all going very well. Plus, we've got another fleet coming as well. So, that's very good. Can we actually claim some systems? Can I claim these two? Can I literally just get this system? Because if we can hold this system until the end, I get some cyclopses to do what I want with. I'm going to slave the whole... Well, there's a whole bunch of people here, actually. Um... A, a Zithorian? What the fuck's a Zithorian? Agrian, apparently. Oh, okay. Could come in useful. I mean, food's always fun, isn't it? In fact, let's have a, I'm, I'm neglecting my planets here. So, let's have a look. So, we've got some uh, unemployment, which... I mean... Okay, what I might do here, actually, is we're going to just build a commercial zone. Because that's just going to hoover... That's just going to create some clerk job. It's just going to hoover up. Build a couple of uh, city things there. Do I want this as generator planet? Could be. Could be. It's an option. It's an option. This place is going to be... Sort of generators, I guess. Cities, maybe. Sort of play about. Have I run out of... I've run out of minerals. Well. Isn't that a thing? Hmm. Don't have any amenities here. Well, tough. Just gonna have to make do. We do actually have 94 minerals coming in. Yeah, but minerals is something... Minerals is very important, and I don't have an awful lot of it. So I might, like, build up some more mineral... Bits in other places, maybe. I'd like to find a nice big chunky mineral world ideally uh, you, you and you right, are we fixing ourselves up? abandon terraforming equipments 
Since our initial settlement on Chasaru Prime, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models for the world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of us colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of its terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There is no telling what the end result will be like, however. Who lives here? Is it birds? It's birds and wombles. I mean, do I really care what happens to birds and wombles? The answer being, not really. Situation log. Where is it? Um, I mean, what do you... You are good energy... I mean, well, do I want anything to happen to this world? Ah, fuck it. I mean, if you don't press a button, you never know what's going to happen, do you? So, of course, we're going to press the button and see what happens. Probably it's going to melt them, but... You know, that's a risk I'm willing for them to take. Right, we all fixed up. Are we getting there? Because I'm going to go for Gur. Let's go for Gur. I'm going to go for Gur. That's what we're going to do. Do we have... Oh, I... wait. Oh, is it because we've invaded... Oh, this planet... Yeah, okay, we've invaded a planet we own a corporate thing on. Well, you know. Such is life. Okay, you're only 3k. I reckon we can jump in and murder you before you can... Uh, before you can get away. So that's what we're going to do. Red Brawl, you're going to be mining because I could use more minerals. Complete. That's what you're going to be doing. And I should be really building some, like, more star bases, outposts and stuff, getting these under control, but... Kind of want to. Oh, hello. Oh, you've jumped ahead of every. Where, where, wait, where's the other fleets? Are you coming? Okay, you're on your way. Okay, good. Good. Stunning win there for us. Excellent. Uh, let's get our lads to... Where's that other fleet? Is it all, still all the way down there? Come on, guys. Come on. You got this. We could always go and grab this system over here. Construction Something complete. like that. Because I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to take them out. Why did we lose? One ship was lost. Zero ships were lost. Really? Sometimes this war exhaustion thing just seems a bit weird. Like, sure, I lost a lot of slaves, but they were slaves. Literally no one cares. Okay, let's grab Ruas. What's they got here? 2k, 2k. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. The foxes are making headway. Which is good to see. So we want you boys... We're going to head for gear. If we can if we can grab gear, then I feel like that's going to really upset. Okay, that's not me. Good. Construction complete. Get really upset about um about the war. Oh, hello. What's going on over here? Looks like a couple of big fleets about to meet in combat.
So it looks like the Cyclopses have managed to relieve Costa Mog, which was under siege. Still, it's looking pretty, pretty damaged. But uh, while they've been kept busy over there, we are going to sneak up and capture their homeworld. So, what's our fleets like? What do they have there? Is that it? Just a 3k fleet? This is going to be no problem then. Okay, where are we? Right, you, you, and you. Okay, we're all on our way. I, do we wait? I think we wait. We wait for our reinforcements to arrive. And once our reinforcements have arrived, we head straight for their homeworld. Because at that point, we should be able to like beat them off. So even if they launch another attack... I am getting a bit of a lag now. And I don't know quite what the reason is. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a bit of late game lag. A little bit of uh, hitching every so often. It's not too bad. But it is a little bit... A little bit jarring. Considering how good my processor is, I'd have expected that uh, it shouldn't be too much of a trouble. But uh, apparently I'm wrong. Okay, fleet's on its way. And here we go. We're going to hit their home world with everything we've got. Well, that was a pretty brutal fight, but they did escape with most of their fleet, and that's annoying because we're actually struggling thanks to stupid foxes and their stupid loss. In this, oh, that Vaya really screwed us over. Plus twenty-four percent war exhaustion. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, let's get you boys, and we are going to bomb the shit out of their homeworld, and then invade it. Obviously, that's that's going to be the next thing. That's Imagine the, next the profit thing. margins on this tech. Indeed. Okay, we've got robotic work uh, assault army and droids. That's nice. Uh, destroyer build time. Potentially quite nice robot modification points. Mm, could be. Could be. Space torpedoes, maybe. I quite like the defense platform hull points, though. So let's grab that, because that's going to make us even more tanky. So we're just going to bomb their planet into oblivion. That should help, shouldn't it? Due to eight occupied systems and one planet. Yes, just about. We're getting there. Still a bit back, thanks to that loss. The uh... God, if only the foxes had pulled their finger out of their ass. Honest to God. It's fine, though. It's fine. We've, we've got this. We've got this. Probably. Probably. What's the defense? 5 4 Yeah, it's going to take a little while to, uh, to knock that defense complete. down. Meanwhile, we do have that fleet wandering around doing whatever it likes, which is a little bit of a problem. So I wonder if we actually build another fleet of our own. Because these mercenaries don't actually count as our ships. So, you know. I mean, we could, like, sell everything and buy more pirate fleets. We're losing consumer goods, so I won't sell that. But, like, you know, bop. Yep, yeah, sure, that's fine. And bop that. Yeah, I could use the edicts, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to buy more raiders, mercenaries. Yep, yeah, I want these guys, the expensive ones. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. I want the big boys, and they're going to come over here and deal with them. We're going to do that. Research complete. Uh, Right, okay. 
That's unfortunate. The aborted terraforming process on Shisaru Prime has been completed with horrific results. Whatever alien life forms designed the terraforming equipment, their physiology was radically different from ours. The planets have been modified to support ammonia-based life, and all of our colonists have suffered gruesome deaths in the now toxic atmosphere. Well... What are you going to do? At least it was only bird people and wombles. Bird people and wombles died gruesome deaths. Oh well, you know, this is a disaster. Well, you know. Okay, we, di we did lose an entire planet there. So, you know, realistically, probably the better option would have been to go... Maybe don't press it, but at least that's brought down the amount of consumer goods we're using. So, realistically, you know, a bit of swings and roundabouts there, potentially. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, on that bombshell, on that literal bombshell, I'm going to leave it there. So we're currently laying siege to gear. We're going to see if we can capture that. And we've got another pirate fleet to go and deal with these guys and push them back. And hopefully we can win this war, although it's going to be close. We could settle for the status quo at the moment. Well, we could actually. Um... So they would close down the branch office. We get a thousand money for each branch office. And we get Pondak Mog. As well as a bunch of systems. I mean, we could potentially try and siege... The, I mean, if we could grab gear, maybe. I, I think we're... I mean, to be honest, I don't mind losing the branch offices. I mean, I'm going to lose them anyway if we're capturing those planets. And that's going to leave... The Cyclops is really weakened. Horrendously so. So, in fact, if we can, can we just claim their homeworld? Oh, I can't. If I do that... If we can just hold out just a long enough to take gear... That feels pretty good, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, we'll do that. Well, you know, we may have lost some bird people and wombles, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. They died horribly. We might get some Cyclops people that we can enslave. So, you know, things are kind of looking up. Oh, well, so there we go. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.